Brr. What's up guys, I'm Tiki and welcome back to my channel. Today we play a game called Anthology of Fear and for those of you that are like me and don't know what the fuck anthology means, it means a collection of poems or other forms of writings. I don't know what this means with... Uh, so I assume it's something like collection of fear stories? Collection of horror stories or something like this? So this is the prologue and it's uh, one of the three main independent from one another horror games that are in this uh, game. So the full game is coming out soon, at least that's what it says on its uh, Steam page. And yeah, let's go. In this one we are playing as Nathaniel Sorn or something like this and we are going to our special place uh, so that we... Uh, because our brother died and we want to fulfill his last wish. Okay, let's start. Yeah, these two are unavailable. Uh, a special place. Meet the beginning of the, fir uh, of the first episode. The next ones are you will see this story. Okay. We don't have any information about the next story. Pro prologue. Gameplay you will see is only a small part of the game. This prologue is an introduction to the first of three episodes. So this is only the introduction. It's not the full episode. That will be available in the full version of the game. Okay. So the game has uh, mixed reviews on Steam. But I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, it's free. I have nothing else to do right now. Uh, okay, so your name is Nato S Nathan Soren. You came to a special place that means a lot to your family. Okay, I'm cool with that. You're here to fulfill the last will of your dead brother. Cool, cool, cool. This is your story. Oh. It's fucking scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's very scary indeed. Is this my brother? Riding in the middle of nowhere. Are we are we gonna see how he dies? And a little girl will jump on the road, we will crash, and then you will wake up in some silent city or something. What At least I won't have to listen to What you. road my Shut dude? Up. It's not like there is any road where we are and it oh, it's not far behind this hill in front of us. You could have driven closer, the car could do it. Don't complain. A little walk didn't hurt anyone. It's not even cold. Always warm here. Uh, I see the snow on the yeah, ground. You can't lie to me that it's not cold. Beautiful view. Um, Beautiful indeed. If you're wondering, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So this is. Look. They camped in this valley. This is all just a cutscene right now. To come back here, if only they were alive. When I die, will you scatter my ashes? Oh, so this is our brother. Okay. Sure, but aren't you too young to die? For fuck's sake, are you recording this? Yep. On an iPhone, I think. Oh, screw you. Yeah, fuck you too, Ethan. <laughs> yeah. real. This place is really important. Can you promise me you'll do it? I promise. Thanks. Okay. Let's go. Let go. Ah, I told you that it was an iPhone. Uh, objective tap. One year later. Let's see... Our objective. Drive down the valley. Current objective. Ooh, and this is my Jeep. Uh, it might not be a Jeep. I mean, in my country, all SUVs are called Jeeps. I don't know why. I guess that just the name of one uh, brand got synonymous with the whole segment of vehicles, the whole sector. And yeah, all of the cars are called Jeep. I mean, they're just different brands of Jeep. It's weird, I know. So yeah, when I see an SUV, I instinctively just call it a Jeep. Okay. Take the urn from the back of the car. Uh, they're really spelling it out for us, right? They don't give us any time to wonder what we're about to do or what we're supposed to do. And we're experiencing some flashbacks. And it's sad and all. Uh, so now we're gonna get our next objective. Uh, go to Ethan's memorial plaque. I'm assuming... It's not here. <laughs> okay, uh, we can kind of run and... We're not at all slow in doing this. Um, I don't know where this memorial plaque is. I don't know if I can climb. 
Uh, it doesn't seem like I can, so I'm assuming it's not in the house. Uh, is this gonna be one of those moments where I'm just gonna be wandering around aimlessly? Uh, no, because the game doesn't allow me to leave this area, so it's not uh, an open world game. And this area is definitely small, so the thing that we have to do is just... Okay, so maybe the memorial plaque... Plaque is... In one of those things... Uh, okay, Ethan Soren, here he is. I would say that this is a gravestone, but okay, memorial plaque, whatever, it's your game. I was expecting something a little bit different. Uh, look around the campsite. Yeah, that's a that's a nice objective. Just just go go look around, enjoy yourself. Can I go up? I want to go up so bad. What am I looking for? What the fuck is this shitty house? What should I be doing here? Okay, we have three of those shelter things and and we can't go inside the basement. I assume that at some point we're gonna go. Uh, check where the sound com comes from. It's coming from there, right? Is it coming from upstairs? Are we going upstairs? Can I go upstairs? Ooh, I was just looking at the ladder the wrong way around. Where is that stupid phone? Stupid phone. Ooh, it's an old Nokia phone. I used to have one of those when I was uh, when I was a kid and the funniest thing that you could do with it... Okay was to play snake but are we in an elevator in this shitty house okay this thing took a dark turn real quick I mean what we're like six or seven minutes into the video and there are already creepy ass fucking things happening Ooh, why do we have a gun? What the fuck? Did someone... Why... Why don't you answer? Answer what? Did someone stole my car? Is this what we're supposed to see? Uh, whoa, what? What the fuck is happening? Why are we getting shot at? And why do we have a gun? And why are his nails so fucking white? Protect yourself. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. I don't know if I've said it at some point, but I'm the worst shooter player. Literally the worst. Is this how I'm supposed to protect myself? Just shoot at the goddamn truck? Um, I'm getting too much cutscenes here. Just jumping from one place to the other. I mean, I know that they want to show like a compressed version of the story, I presume, but it's more like a slightly interactive uh, movie than a video game. Find a shelter to hide yourself. Uh, this looks like a shelter to me. And what happened with our ability to run like a rabbit? Why are we so fucking slow now? What's the, what's the deal with this rain? What happened? Why did my car blow up? So many unanswered questions. Um, yeah, sure. Give me like three seconds to try and defend myself against those people, but 
Yeah, spare me uh, like uh, two minutes just to walk to this fucking shelter here. Okay, let's go inside the basement. Sure, nothing creepy will happen there. I don't know if uh, there are any monsters in this game or anything supernatural. But there better be. I came here to get scared. Wait out the storm in the shelter. Uh, yeah, I assume that we have to maybe explore a bit. Hey, can I do anything in here? Is there another level down? We can't go there. Okay, something scary is definitely about to happen. And I might scream, I won't lie. Take a rest. Here? Yeah, this seems like a nice place to rest. Now what the fuck is gonna be wrong once he wakes up? Did someone take a dump in a bucket? Is someone submerging us? And we're not waking up? Whoa! Oh! Yeah, that's why you don't sleep in a fucking shelter underground. And someone see our mouth shut. Run away from shelter. Running away from shelter. Find another way outside. Through the door? Not through here. Apparently, yeah, yeah, someone just sew your mouth shut and you're just gonna bang on the door. Find a way to break the padlock. Is this my way to break the padlock? I mean, I'm always bad at puzzles and I'm getting this from the first try, which kind of means that this game is easy, at least so far. Find the iron door key. Yeah, did I say that too fast? Okay, we need to go back up and find that stupid iron door key. If I were an iron door key, would I hide my... yeah, just right outside of the lower level. Find a way to escape. Okay, I kind of dig the game. I mean, it's cool and all. Is there something in here? Nope. Can we interact with anything? Um... I assume that we're not escaping from here. At least it definitely doesn't look like it. Maybe we can blow ourselves up? Um, okay, the whole idea of the iron door was... Um, kind of confused as to what am I supposed to be doing. We came from here, right? I'm not going crazy or anything. Is someone? Find a way to communicate uh, through the pipes, right? Uh, where are the pipes? This is a pipe. Um, not through this pipe. Not through that pipe. Um, Oh, through this pipe here. Nope. Uh, yeah, this is the wrong pipe. Duh. Um, maybe this pipe? Nope. Maybe it's not a pipe at all. With who are we supposed... Okay. Uh, communicate with stranger. Uh, is he on the other side of the door? Is this who are we supposed to communicate with? Let's see. Uh, apparently not. Ooh. Come on, write it. Hi. 
Who are you? Uh, yeah, that that's that's fucking enough for now. Let's see. What is he gonna write back? Is someone behind? Nope. What about now? Nope. Um, I would love to be able to take this. Okay. Help me. Do you know how to get out of here? Yeah, when someone asks you who you are, I know that you want help, but you can still write. Yeah, hi, I'm John, I'm Steve, I'm whatever. Help me, please. How did you get here? Yeah, I don't think that we are getting anywhere with this conversation. It's like trying to talk your mom, or at least my mom, into having a puppy. They kidnapped me. How long are you here? Who are they? I assume we're gonna find out pretty fucking soon. Let's see. I do not remember. They are evil people. How to get out of here? Yeah, that's that's a that's a very nice question indeed. What was his name? Samuel? Sam? I don't know. I kind of forgot. And you tell me about yourself. They started shooting at me and my car broke down. I had to seek his shelter. And they just left me here? They don't like noise. They sue lips when you sleep and do terrible things. How did you get here? Okay, how long are we gonna be doing this? Because it's getting a little bit... I don't know. I'm getting a little bit bored. I don't remember, it was a long time ago. Will you help me? Yeah, I mean, if I can, I'm not... What can I do? Do you know more about them? It's not like I'm in a perfect position to just let you the fuck out. And someone stole my gun, I think, so... Or did... Do I have... Do I still have my gun? Uh, they want us to suffer. Turn off the gas on the lower floor. Turn off the gas on the lower floor. Where the fuck is the gas? On the fucking lower floor. Uh. Haha! <laughs> no gas for you. Ah! God fucking damn it! I kind of got fucking scared. Why did I get scared from this? <laughs> he was waiting. Hmm. <laughs> The prologue is an introduction to the first of three different stories that will be available in the full version of the game. Add Anthology of Fear to your wishlist on Steam. Not sure that I'm gonna be doing this, but... I mean... The rest of the game might be better. I don't know. The prologue was... Meh. So, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Do you like the game? Do you know anything more about it? Would you want me to play it when the full game comes out? Yeah, I'm Diggity, and like always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.